could tell y'all what the fuck this bitch was doing. It was really pissing me off. And at that point, I said, I'm not doing no more trips with you. I was like, that is, this is around the gunfight video. I'm like, for one, like, it's, to me, it is just selfish that if you're not having a good time, you don't want nobody to have a good time. And that is literally, to me, that is just selfish boots. So she ends up, back to the story of how it all got to this, she ended up unfollowing me. I end up unfollowing her. The tea happened with her and um, Gio, whatever they had going on, the live of them fighting, blah, 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 blah. Nas is still staying out of it. I get on social media. I have people sending me stuff of her saying shit about me, calling me weird, saying that I stink and saying that I'm a downgrade. Then she goes to say, um, I guess something um it was just funny how me and Gio both moved to Houston and somebody was like the um places look the same first things first thing I stay by myself I don't stay with nobody whatsoever I don't need I don't need to stay with anybody I know and another thing me and Ace was never best I know y'all get on here and y'all see people collab and y'all see people doing content together me and her was never ever ever best friends and out of the 24 years of me living stink I have never had somebody come to me and tell me that I stink First things first, pookie butt. And if I stunk so much, why the fuck was you all up under me, pookie? So I literally, at that point, I'm like, look, I don't do social media beef. I don't do back and forth. I don't do all that extra shit. If you want to fight, we can fight. We can meet up. I do not care. I'm not about to go back and forth with social media. I understand that's how you get your views and that's how you get your whatever you get. Stink is getting on social media, beefing with every and anybody, but that's not what Nas does whatsoever. My content, the same content that you was talking about, um, I flip burgers and I work at McDonald's. Stink, those have gotten me deals. Those have gotten me paid. And another thing, Stink, I didn't go to Virginia to record a record. I went to Virginia because a big company wanted to work with me and I wanted T to help me with the video. I actually recorded my disc record yesterday in Houston when I flew back and I wrote my record record on the plane stink <sighs> I literally I do not have time ace I'm going to say this to you you have a lot of maturing to do and another thing that I do want to address is Bo I guess um ace had posted on her story where Bo stated that she never said certain things I'm gonna say what Bo said. Bo literally said that Ace, after Ace got evicted or after she got put out of her last place for the whatever, blah, 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 blah. Where's the diss track? Link is in my bio. It comes out at 8 Central, 9 Eastern and Swoopty. The link is in my bio for the diss record. Y'all want to go listen to it? Swoopty, whoopty, whatever. So Bo literally stated that after Ace had got put out of her place, evicted, whatever, she was living with Bo and I guess Ace left her phone somewhere or something and Bo went through her phone and she was like, she went to her messages and you know how you can search up your name? Like if you search up a word, what, it'll show you all the messages that use, that uses what. So she searched up Bo and she said she went um to her and Sonny messages, which Sonny and her are, be Sonny and Ace are best friends and stated that um she seen Bo, I mean, Ace and Sonny talking about her in the messages. So I guess she checked her about it. She said Ace got very aggressive, very rowdy. And she was like, she seemed like she, Ace seemed like she was going to hit her, put her out. And Bo, I don't know if y'all are scared of her or whatever, but you, she calling up Bo and Bo saying she never said that, blah, 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 blah. Think that is exactly, exactly, exactly what you said, Pookie, but while you're trying to double build. Bo is one of Ace's friends. I don't really, I think I've met her like once or twice, if I'm not mistaken. That, that on that. Drop Bo at. I don't know Bo at. I don't know Bo's social media. I honestly don't even remember what Bo looked like. But my thing with Ace is, Ace, if you have a problem with Nas, Nas called your phone two times. Do not get on social media. I totally understand that y'all fuck with her and y'all follow her, but do not get on social media trying to plant this one narrative like we just switched up on you. I'm going to say this again. Geo did not do nothing to Nas. Me and Ace does not have a type of, like, we was not best buddy buddies to where whoever she didn't fuck with, I didn't fuck with. Every trip we went on, Geo was nothing but Nas. Geo was nothing but... And I honestly feel like no matter what I would have did, this bitch still would have been mad boots. 
maybe Ace thought y'all was closer than we really was. You guys, the same way Ace can compare my sh friendship to her and Sonny's friendship. It is completely different. Me and Ace was not on that type of friendship level for her to be telling me who I can and can't hang with. I am grown. Like, I'm literally grown. I am grown boots. And I know a lot of my supporters are out the loop. And I'm not even trying to be funny just because they genuinely don't know who Ace is or they genuinely just don't keep up with the shit. I don't do mess. I don't do drama. That's not what I do. That's not how I built my name. I built my name off of being fun, funny, organic, and humble. I don't get in here, get over here. I don't have to beef with nobody. I don't have to be in drama. These 5.3 million followers I got, I did not get off of drama. I did not get off of beef. Everybody keeps saying, who is Ace? That is my thing. That's why I literally didn't like, and then you sit here and say somebody is fake. You are literally... You're talking about yourself because when I remember when Fendi, you and Fendi first started talking, everybody was telling you not to do it. This is literally when me and Ace kind of first started even texting, talking, swooped in and whooped in. After her and Fendi left, she literally said she just felt he was you. Um, he was using her, clout chasing after her, and blah, 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 blah. He was like, she was like, um, he doesn't give the same energy that he gives off of videos. Like, you know, when they're together doing videos, looking at him and, you know, little googly eyes. She was like, he does not give that whatsoever. And then you go back to the same person who y'all, who you was, I don't understand. I don't, I genuinely do not understand. You can't, I don't know. She talks about everybody. She gets on social media about everything. That's why everybody knows your life. That's why everybody will always feel entitled to know everything about you because you go to social media about everything. Once again, um, Ace, I know you're going to watch this. I know you're probably in here. You had my number stink. You could have called me, but instead you would rather go live telling people I stink, telling people um, I'm a downgrade, telling people I'm ugly, um, telling people I wanted your sloppy seconds or I wanted some or I've always just I've always liked Gio or they've always had probably always had something going on. Ace, this is why that disc record is called Ace Be Delusional because you're a delusional boo. Just like how you got on your story today stating that I flew all the way to Virginia, did a disc record about you, came back to Houston, linked up with your ex. You are delusional and you have something going on in your head that I don't know. Your screws are probably loose, think. But Nas flew to Virginia. I was not thinking about you. I was not going to address you. I was not going to say nothing to you. I went to Virginia because a big company reached out to me and wanted me to promote their products. And I called T and I said, hey, T, can you help me with this video? Me on um, Keisha and Jay Sean, our skit, our toxic skit that'll eat for this concept. That's how it went. I don't understand. And anybody that literally anybody think I don't have nothing to lie about. OK, I don't have nothing to lie about Pookie, but I went to Virginia. And not only that, think I have family in Virginia. If y'all don't know, I moved to Houston in um, August. I have family in Virginia. I have family in Virginia. I also went to go see my family. Was not thinking about a ace at all. She has been speaking on me since the beginning of August. It is about to be October. I understand you are hurt. I understand that you are bitter, stink, but you are not going to get nowhere. You aren't going to get nowhere speaking on the next bitch and what you assume and what you think. You really need to grow up because what you're going to do is you're going to push everybody out. You're going to push everybody out your life. Boots. Because you get on social media and also she, I have, y'all, Ace has anger issues, Boots. Every trip we have went on, the trips ended early because of her. Because she doesn't know how to control her anger. She doesn't know how to express herself. Her way of expressing herself and her anger is screaming into, y'all see her on live when she's screaming into a, screaming into the swoopty, I'm hurt, y'all are, that is her. Every trip we've went on, 
You don't know how to separate whatever you got going on personally. When we're out, I don't think you understand. When we go out and we do trips, this is taking time out of my schedule and also money out of my pockets. I have wasted plenty of money because I left trips early because of you. I get it. You are mad. You are bitter. I can tell you are mad because when I posted my little um, swoopy to my disc record, you're on your story just going in, going in. You can ace. You can't say that you are unbothered or you don't care when you show every day that you care and that you are bothered. You show every single day how bothered you are and how hurt you are. The fact that you woke up this morning and the first thing you post on your story is Nas shows how bothered you are, shows how pressed you are. Stink, you really need to get help. You really need to grow up. You have a lot of growing to do, a whole lot. Any problem Nas has had with anybody and I have their number, I call them. You will never see not. She was, she, she was bold enough to run back to the next bitch and, you know, try to tell me about me. Let me tell you something, Bo. I never needed you, baby. I, you asked me to come and move in with you. I could have got my own shit ASAP pronto. Asked my sister, asked everybody. They're the one who told me to calm down and, you know, take it slow. But you were too busy running to Detroit, not staying faithful to your motherfucking man. So you was too damn dixie to find out. And oh yeah, you were the one who went through my phone and see me having best friend talk with my best friend and bitch, you're the one who's, you're sad about it and I can't help that baby, I can't help you. It wasn't like I was going around telling that T that I just told right there. Pick y'all pussies up. Oh, you forgot to mention, I had you fly all the way back to Virginia, book studio time. Think about me the whole time you was writing your verse, fly back to Texas, hop on live, think about me some more. Call my ex up and chill on live, bitch. Just to not even do the n same numbers I do. <sighs> <laughs> said that he was couch hopping. But one thing is, I've never, I never said that he was couch hopping. So for them to say that, it's a fucking lie and they're dragging you because I never said he was couch hopping. I don't even say that. I don't even know that term. So like, I never said that. All I said was that he moved out literally that he's out the house because we got into an argument and that's it like i i never said he was cow chopping look here nice bitch you can't fuck with me on no day bitch your ass quicker from the south we call the horseplay cripping on your neck and i'ma step until the shit break grinding on your men with no hands i'm a dictator Okay, let me address you since you want to play big, dumb, and stupid. Ever once did you call me as you're claiming before the fact that I checked you via social media? You and my ex was kicked back getting drinks way before you even decided to call, text, or let me know in general. Which is why I stopped fucking with you. Your reasoning behind it was, oh, me and Ace were never best friends, buddy, buddy. Bitch, I have multiple times I've been at your house. We have multiple songs together. Bitch, now, if you was playing the fake card, then that's on you. And baby boy, you can sit here and try to play victim all day, but I got your ass by the throat. <laughs> now, just honestly, I don't care what nobody say, or honestly, I don't care what you're saying with your 25-year-old ass. Um, You never called, hit me up, told me anything until the fact that I seen you hanging out with my ex. Bitch, I don't care what you say, Mr. Nas. Since it's a whole segment about Ace right now, 
Um, if I would have did it to you, to somebody you were slobbing down, to somebody you were busting down, to somebody you were, you know, in cahoots with, you would have felt the same exact way. So now that I feel the same way, or that I'm, uh, you know, reciprocating that energy that I'm not going to fuck with somebody like that, you're mad, you're